It's a little foggy out today. Doesn't show up that well on camera, but it's foggy. Gas is a dollar fifty-five. I'm sure it's similar everywhere. I just want to point out for people watching this video in the future that gas is a dollar fifty-five. Maybe this video was filmed in 2020. Maybe it was filmed in 2003. You don't know. Time to ship some orders. I've got 13 for 334 bucks. First, we've got this. Oh, falling apart. This is a third brake light for 1988 to 1998 something or other. What was it? Uh, Chevy GMC pickup truck. Found this in a storage unit, sold it for $29.99. Next, we've got a viewer purchase from Leanne. Let's go dig it out. All right, it's gonna be in here. First, 1C1. gonna be here we're looking for pink rose these are caught on each other there we go uh where oh where is the pink rose hiding why don't i see it it's perla okay one c one yeah i'm in the right bin Unless it's one of these. No, I don't think so. It said lipstick. Okay, that's bizarre. I might have to look at that listing. All right, let's skip that one. Next, we've got 1C3, which is this one. We're looking for sapphire. It's intense sapphire. I'm gonna double check the listing, but that's probably it. And then in 1E4, we're looking for Versailles. Might be this. Uh, let's see. I don't know, it doesn't say. It's got, oh, oh, hold on, losing stuff. Now let's look right at here. Man, this is not fun trying to find this makeup. So it doesn't say it on the outside of the box, but it says it on the actual item. So she bought that, she bought this, and I need to find out, maybe it's got a different factory color or something than what I wrote down on the other one yep portofino which is one of these right there portofino so leanne bought these three items and i did double check that is the correct one for a total of 39.97 and she says love your videos you're a true inspiration keep your head up and stay healthy thanks leanne i certainly appreciate the purchase Next, we sold a pair of Levi's. Maybe they're these. We're looking for size 32. That's a 30. They're going to be gray. There's a 32. That's not so... Oh, oh, losing them here. All right, 32. These came on one of the Target pouts. I paid 50 cents. Sold these for 15. All right, next we sold a shirt. It should be in a box labeled DB2. Right here. All right, we're looking for this one right here. Uh, I'm just gonna pull the whole box down. So quantity three. Now this can be a quantity of two. We'll pull one out. This shirt, a little wrinkled, 
came from Dress Barn. And so I paid a buck. It sold for, where is it? I lost it. It sold for 15. Next, we sold right here. Snow pants, vintage snow pants. I got 24 something, about 25 bucks. Let's take a look at the listing. I $24.99. These came out of a storage unit. Let's see, that's the tag. You can tell they're, they're vintage. Uh, these came out of that storage unit full of vintage clothing, if you recall. Next, I sold this Wizard of Oz costume. Right on top, easy to find. This came on an Amazon pallet. And I sold it for 20 bucks, $19.99. Now we're looking for A3. This in A3X. That's going to be whatever this tag is attached to. So this skirt came from Dress Barn. They bought one other item. That's K... We're looking for C4, right here. And I think it's going to be one of these. It's a 20 and a 20W, the same thing. Let's find out, 20W, all right. And I sold these. They're like jeans, but also like leggings. Sold both of them for 30 bucks. All right, we're gonna come back in here and go to one G4. Bring this up on the table. We're looking for a 34D. Where's the size? What, oh, right there, 40, 40, 34D. I sold this. For 10 bucks, put these back. Oh, don't wanna lose that. I sold this bra for 10 bucks and it came on the Target pallets, cost me 50 cents. I sold two pairs of kids shorts. We're looking for 14s. That's a four. That is a five, an eight. Six, 14, here's one of them. All right, I'm gonna dig the other one out off camera. Again, paid 50 cents each on the Target pallets, sold them for a total of $25.98. I just realized all my stickers from yesterday I haven't thrown that little stack away. So $25.98 for these costs combined was a buck, 50 cents each. Now we're looking for a jacket. It says hanging, which I'm not seeing unless this counts too. Let's look over here. I think this is gonna be it. Yep, marmot, size, medium, windbreaker. Sold it for 40 bucks. Came on an Amazon pallet. Next, I sold a pair of these ear warmers for 10 bucks. One more trip back in here. One C1 is the location. Perla is going to be this. We sold two of them for $25.98. And if you're wondering what my cost was on these, there are a couple ways of looking at it. Um, I got them at 5% of retail, so these don't have price tags. So I bought them at 5% of whatever the original retail was on this. Probably, the original retail was probably more than what I'm charging. The way I kind of look at it, I bought about 4,500 units for about 4,500 bucks. So that's a buck each. Interesting. He's got magnets here for some reason. I don't know why. I just saw it laying like that and was very confused. So anyways, without knowing what retail is, what 5% is, I paid about a buck each. Lastly, these are gonna be fun to try and find. I don't know where he would have put these, but 
Well, let's start walking in a circle. I'm just kind of glancing to see if maybe it's sitting in the open. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. These are packing cubes. So these are basically sold e-bags on eBay. Uh, these are basically little bags to organize your suitcase. I sold this set for 24 or something, about 25 bucks, 24.80. So that's all the sales. I'm gonna get this packed up and uh, we'll see if we get any more sales while I'm doing that. So I'm gonna ship this out. This one has a price tag on it. Do either of these, 20. So that I paid 90 cents, that I paid a buck. This one doesn't have a price. So it gives you an idea of kind of about what I paid for this stuff. So this is that brake light. It's in a four by four by 12 box. I was expecting to ship it cubic, priority mail cubic. Look at that, it's under a pound. We can go first class with this. And while we were doing all that, I had another 56 bucks sell. So we're coming back over here. This puts us over 400 bucks since I shipped out, or since Tim shipped out yesterday. We sold the last of the Perla. So we'll get this out and then something else. And this sold full price, $12.99. There we go. And lastly, this shouldn't be too hard to find. Although I may have just jinxed myself. Might be down there somewhere. It doesn't look like it. It's a big box. How hard can it be to find? I don't see it over here. It's not up on this shelf. I see it. Let's move this rack over right here. Sold a motorcycle helmet. Let's get it over on the table and give you, give you a better look at it. You really could have put it a little nicer in the box, but... Skull cap is what he listed it as. I, I think that's the type of helmet. It was an Amazon item, so it came on an Amazon pallet. Looks like it's got uh, a little protective bag, which I'm going to put it in the bag before we ship it out. And it's in the original box. Now that presents it a lot better. We'll close this neatly. This sold for, it's an interesting box. Oh, it doesn't. This sold for 40 bucks. So we'll get this shipped out. Might be able to go cubic. I don't know. And we're all shipped out. What's that like 15, I think? I think we started with 13 and then got two more. I don't remember. Anyways, a little over 400 bucks cost me about 65 or so to ship it all. I'm happy with that. It was actually a very solid day. Hopefully if things can maintain like this, uh, we'll be okay. So it says here, I can send offers to 127 buyers and that takes a long time. Let me show you how to do it in bulk. Side note, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. Um, I filmed it once, but I don't know if it made it in the video. So I'm gonna show you now. If you've already seen it, then you're seeing it again. So as far as I know, you can only do this from a computer. So we're gonna go and look at all of our listings. And then right here, send offers eligible, 126. We're gonna click that and filters all of those out. So now we've got 126 items here. Selecting all and send offers. Now you can't select the price that you're doing. You can only kind of blanket it with a percent discount. So I'm gonna do is 10% off and that's going to send that offer to all 126 or however many. We're gonna click send offers. Usually a couple of them won't go through for one reason or another, but most of them will. Oh, they all went through. There you go, send offers eligible, zero. And I have 122 cent, which is contradicting what it said I had before. But nonetheless, we sent them all out. And then if you look here, it looks like I got a sale while I was doing that, but also no longer prompts me to send offers. Short video today. It's only like 11 a.m., but I decided to screw it. I'm going home. I'm taking a vacation day, despite the fact that everyone every day is vacation day, technically. So, and I guess I'm not going home yet. Hold on. All right, now I'm going home. So, anyways. Delete this. Messages, press all old messages deleted. Yeah.
telemarketers calling and I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know what they're, what they're telling me to do. Anyway, so I am heading home. That's all you're getting for the video today. Um, I have nothing else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, hold on. First, I have to bring this all to the post office, but I'm not going to film that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.